The movie starts off with a girl presenting her ideas in front of the whole class. A boy keeps looking at her and the girl continues to meet his eyes. The girl, whose name is Anna, keeps on glancing at the guy, Jacob. It is evident that Anna has feelings for Jacob with the way she looks at him. As she's going home, she leaves a love letter in front of Jacob's car. He leaves her name and number on the letter. Jacob quickly calls her and they meet up for a date. They click instantly and talk about their areas of interest. Anna is an international student in the US who takes a liking towards Jacob. She tells Jacob that she's planning to stay in the US after figuring out her visa. They walk together and chat simply about their families. Jacob drops Anna off at her house and she invites him in. They drink whiskey and Anna tries her best to entice him even more as she has a huge crush on him. She plays music in the background and reads him some of her writing. He compliments the way she writes and they share laughters together. Jacob leaves soon after. Soon, their relationship blossoms and they fall for each other. They go to amusement parks and beaches together. They spend every second of their time in each other's arms and fool around. Anna's parents come to visit her and she's ecstatic to meet them. She introduces them to Jacob and they all spend quality time together. Anna's mom asks if they're getting intimate and she blushes indicating that they have. The night passes and Anna and Jacob get dropped off by their parents. They start making out as they make their way into Anna's house. Jacob gives her a chair that he made on his own and Anna is fascinated by the gift. Jacob engraves like crazy on the chair to show that he loves her like crazy. They spend the night together and Jacob asks what they'll do after graduation. To which Anna replies that she'll be back soon after getting a work visa. They are wrapped up in each other's arms trying their hardest not to think about their future. Anna has to leave for the summer and her mom tells her not to delay it any longer as they don't want her overstaying her visa. Her mom tells her they'll sort things out in the summer and Anna agrees. Jacob and Anna seem upset as they won't get to see each other for the summer but decide to spend their last moments together on a boat. Jacob tries to talk and make Anna laugh but she doesn't pay attention. After seeing Jacob's tries, Anna smiles and they confess their love for each other. They kiss and spend the night in the market. Even though they try desperately to forget that they won't be together for a couple months, they can't. Jacob thinks of a way to go to London with her. But they dismiss that idea thinking Anna would be back soon. They bathe together and splash water with each other. Jacob gives Anna a beautiful necklace and Anna gives Jacob a book that she wrote herself about their relationship. It has a collection of all their favorite memories. They smile as they reminisce their memories and go to sleep. In the morning, Jacob is woken up by Anna saying she won't go and she'd stay for the summer. Jacob tells that it isn't a good idea and she has to go before her visa expires but Anna insists. Jacob agrees and they spend the entire summer together, wrapped up in each other's arms. Anna finally goes back to London to attend a wedding. After seven days, Anna plans to go back to the US and Jacob's excited. He packs presents and buys flowers for her. Anna reaches the US and at the airport, the customs manager asks her about overstaying her visa and she says she's just back in the country as a tourist. Jacob arrives at the airport to pick Anna up but is informed that Anna wouldn't be able to come because of her visa violation. She's quickly deported back to the UK and the two are devastated. Anna gets a job in London since she's no longer allowed in the US and long distance becomes extremely hard for the two. The difference in time zones makes their communication much more difficult. Anna and Jacob both become engrossed in their work lives and have no time for each other. They're sad and upset at being so far apart. Living without each other gets too exhausting and eats them from the inside. After some discussion, Anna and Jacob decide to be just friends and stop dating. It's extremely difficult but they try to move on with their lives. Anna meets up with some friends in a club and returns home. Jacob does the same but can't seem to forget Anna. He calls Anna and she picks up. They only have brief conversations before hanging up. They soon realize that they're miserable without each other. Anna calls back Jacob again and asks him to come meet her. Jacob comes to meet Anna soon. They finally find peace and happiness with each other. They decide to ignore whatever happened in the past and move on. Right then, Anna gets a delivery that has the same chair Jacob gave her. Jacob gets a little jealous as he sees Anna talk to her neighbors in a really chatty way but just smiles and doesn't say anything. Even at the club, he feels left out. Anna and Jacob go meet her family and Jacob gets engrossed in business talks with her dad. Anna's mom asks how they're planning to work out their relationship, and she just replies they're thinking about it and brushes off the topic soon. At dinner, Anna's father gets a little tipsy and brings up Anna's mistake. He even tells them to get married since it would save them a lot of money but Anna and Jacob don't respond. Her mother makes her dad stop after he says too much since she doesn't want to embarrass them. Jacob's leaving soon so Anna and Jacob spend every waking moment together. They both can feel the tension between them and how things haven't been the same. They're not as free and happy as they were and they don't have much fun. Jacob tells her he feels weird since it doesn't seem like they're together and rather that he's just on vacation. To which Anna proposes they see other people. Jacob asks her if she wants that but she denies it quickly. Jacob gets offended at her question and feels his relationship with her dwindling away. Anna apologizes and makes up, but can't seem to get a hold of their long-distance relationship. Jacob leaves soon after and Anna is all alone again. Back home, Jacob has found another love interest and lives with her. Anna focuses on her work and her boss compliments her on it, 
Her boss talks about her own long-distance relationship with her now husband. Anna tells her that communication is really hard to which she replies it is, but it just makes you realize each other's value. Anna gets promoted at her job and she's ecstatic. In the mail, Jacob finds a letter from the UK. He hides it from his girlfriend. He mistakenly calls his girlfriend Samantha by Anna's name. Samantha is hurt by this and Jacob apologizes. He takes her out to bond with her and they go to a club. They get drunk, dance and kiss. Samantha is really happy and thinks what happened earlier was just a mistake. Just then, Jacob gets a text from Anna saying she really needs to talk to him. He tries to ignore the message but decides to call her anyway. He tells Samantha he's going to the bathroom and calls Anna. Anna confesses that nothing feels the same without him. To which Jacob replies that they both decided to move on. Anna retorts saying she cannot and has no sense of life. She wants to get married and calls Jacob to visit her once so they can get things started. That way, it would only take Anna six months to settle in the US. Samantha sees Jacob talk to Anna and walks away distressed. Jacob feels sorry for Samantha as she loves him a lot but he also can't stop thinking about Anna. Samantha confronts him about it and he tells her he's going back to London. Samantha is in tears and tells him she loves him but Jacob can't even say it back to her. Samantha kisses him one last time before walking away from his life. Jacob goes to London and they soon get married. Both of them are really happy and Anna's parents shed tears. They celebrate their marriage with champagne and wine. They dance and sing the night away. For a while, they share their feelings about being away for the next six months but they're hopeful that things will turn out to be good. They spend the rest of their days hanging out in pubs and museums, hand in hand. Jacob leaves soon after and Anna waits for him patiently until he comes back. A couple months later, they try to get Anna a dependent visa but fail to do so since she's banned from the US for violating her student visa. The officer tells them she'll help them as soon as the ban is lifted but until then, nothing can be done. They're both upset and angry at this and get into an argument on their way back home. In the evening, Anna proposes Jacob move to London and start his business here. Jacob replies that he'll try. He texts Samantha about his business but Anna sees their texts where Samantha says she misses him. Anna confronts Jacob about it but he simply replies that Samantha is just a work colleague and nothing else. Anna tells him that it's a lie which causes a massive argument between them. They take all their anger out on each other. Anna asks him not to shout as people might come around. Then Jacob gets suspicious and asks Anna if she ever slept with Simon her neighbor. Anna doesn't answer his question which frustrates him further. This turns into a screaming fight and Anna walks away. Jacob goes back to the US and continues his relationship with Samantha whereas Anna starts her relationship with Simon. She gets a promotion at work and celebrates the night with Simon. He asks if she's told her parents about Jacob to which she replies she'll tell them soon. The two make love with their new partners but feel that something's missing. They still continue to text each other and Anna tells him she misses him. Jacob ignores her message and goes back to Samantha. Soon, Anna's visa gets approved and her ban lifted. She tells Simon about it and he congratulates her. Anna contemplates telling Jacob but doesn't. At night, her parents come for dinner and Simon seems to be visibly upset. Anna spends some good quality time with them but her parents don't seem to like Simon as much. Simon compliments Anna but the air gets even more tense. Suddenly, Simon proposes but Anna doesn't say yes. Her parents leave soon after and the two are left in awkward silence. Anna feels incomplete without Jacob and completes her visa processing. Samantha and Jacob aren't on good terms either and she leaves after she finds out about Anna coming over. Jacob goes to pick Anna and they are happy to see one another. It's like none of their fights ever happened. Anna settles down at Jacob's place and searches for jobs to work on. They shower together and let all their problems fade away as they immerse in each other's arms. All their memories come rushing back and they embark on their new journey in the end. 